Hey, we're back with another lick of the week, and uh, we're working in some blues ideas based on the number one chord shape. And the first video, I gave you an example of how to find the blues scale notes and scale notes and chord tones all within frets three to five because we're using G for the example. But remember, all the ideas based on a chord shape can pretty much be moved around anywhere on the neck as long as the open strings that could be in the lick work for the new key. So we're going to stick with G for the example because we're tuned to G. And last week we did some really nice J.D. Crow ideas based on the number one shape. I'd like to go a little further in this video and add some single string ideas. Now usually when you say single string, most people tend to group single string licks over here by themselves as a separate style. And there is a separate style called single string, just as melodic is a separate style. So you have Scruggs, Melodic, and Single Strings being the three major divisions of bluegrass banjo. But even in the confines of Scruggs style, you have some great single string ideas. Earl was uh, great at single string, he just didn't take the style as far as, say, Don Reno did. But Earl uh, has some great ideas like Pike County Breakdown. Uh, the song Foggy Mountain Special is loaded with great single string ideas. And some of his classic licks, some of which I've already covered in other videos, say the Boogie Woogie Lick, that's the full-blown version of the lick, not the easy version I showed in the previous video. So Earl is thought of as a three-finger player, and rightly so, uh, but there's some great single string ideas inside the confines of that style that he played. So what I want to do is kind of mix some single string blues ideas in with this chord shape so that you don't have to leave the shape too too much to be able to play uh, some really nice blues licks. So let's go back to the first video for review. Going from the third to the fifth fret bridges the gap between the two ends of this chord shape and also give you the blues notes you need and the scale notes you need to mix in with the chord shape to play licks. Let's take the bass side of the equation, which means we're going to start on the low end. And we're going to play a, a bluesy lick based on these notes. Here's the F note. Let me get a little better camera angle. So I'm going from four, fourth uh, string, third fret, to the fifth fret. Then over to the third string, third fret. Now I'm going to choke the fifth fret of the third and then release it back to the 3rd string 3rd fret back to the 4th string 5th fret so it's 4, 3, 3, 3, 3, 4 as far as strings go fret wise it would be 3, 5, 3, 5, 5, 3, 5 and that would be uh, the fret positions for those strings and you notice I'm doing the bend and release like we've done in one of the other licks from the previous video now let's fire the metronome up. I've got mine set here at about 60 beats a minute. Now if we're going to mix that idea in uh, to, to maybe jazz it up a little bit, we could mix in some vamps. Or we could do maybe a roll. It's really up to you how you want to tag that lick. And usually when you say tag, that means add another idea to, a, to the one you just played. That's pretty much the, the gist of that lick. And you can tag it with whatever you want. Now, if we think back to the Boogie Woogie lick, the, the version I gave in the uh, one of the previous videos dealing with stroke style backup, I gave a, a simplified version of the lick, and it sounded like this. Okay, what I want to do now in this video is show you the full blown lick. It's actually four one three three two, and then we're going to add an E note on the second string fifth fret. Now, why would we add an E note? Well, adding an E note to the otherwise normal notes in a G major chord gives us uh, an E minor inflection, but it actually gives us uh, theoretically a G6 chord. And when you talk about six chords, that means you add the sixth note of the scale 
to the other three notes. So a G6 chord would have the first, the third, and fifth notes of a G scale, which gives us G. And then adding an E note to the other three notes gives us a four note chord with an E, which is G6. And the six means the sixth note of the scale. So what we're doing in uh, the Boogie Woogie Lick in Earl's version is we're adding a sixth note, the E note, but we're also using a B flat note. If you notice the lick itself, you notice that we're going to, from B flat to B on the third string. Okay, so we're inflecting a blue scale note anyway. So let's take Earl's basic lick and let's play around with it and use single string to come up with some creative ideas based on that. Now I'm going to use the B flat to B that Earl used, but now I'm going to play around with that. So listen to this. So in essence what I'm doing is just pedaling or just revolving around this one idea. You can try to use the thumb for all the notes, and that will work until the lick gets to a certain speed, and then you probably won't be able to make your thumb work that quickly. That's when you'll switch to single string. And how many times you do this is really up to you. And you can mix those notes up. You can actually reverse, and there's a lot of cool things you can do. But that's a chromatic movement, which means it's just one, one half step. Now let's take it another step further. Getting a little more complicated, but it's still within the parameters of the number one chord shape. So what I'm going to do here is hammer from uh, three to four on the third string. Play open third. Now I'm going to do a three note walk up. Three, four, five on the third string, and you notice I'm using three fingers. Index, middle, ring. So I'm doing a hammer from index to middle. Open, index, middle, ring, open third. Now instead of hammering three to four on the third, I'm going to play both of those notes individually and then wind up on the fourth. So I'm taking the previous idea, which is just a pedal lick, and I'm adding some notes to it and winding up on the four string at the end. So that's, I guess, would be considered a single string style lick, but we're using it in the confines of the number one shape, just like Earl did for the boogie woogie lick. to go too far away from the number one shape. So for the rest of this video I'm just going to fire the metronome up and play some of these licks and we'll see you next video. Thanks.